Welcome to Thrasher's instructional video, How to Skateboard. We made this video because we feel there's a need to showcase the modern fundamentals of skateboarding. Hopefully, you can use these segments as building blocks to make you a better skateboarder. Check it out. Now that you're involved in skateboarding, the first thing you're going to want to know is to just go out and get a board. What kind of board you want to get, how to put your tape on, your wheels, bearing, trucks, bolts. And so right now I'm going to show you how to put some grip tape on a board, how to grip a board. You're going to want to, want to put it on from one end to the next and without getting bubbles in it. You're going to want to you got to measure up your lines too so you don't come too far off on the side. Put it on one end, pat it down slowly, moving towards the other end, making sure most air bubbles are out of it. All the way down to the end. Next, you're going to want to file the grip tape, feel the edge. Making sure that you get a a nice line that you'll be able to cut from. Next, you're going to need yourself an exacto knife so you can get a good clean cut on this grip tape. Start at one end, keeping the blade angled so you don't cut into the wood. You come down along the line, try to keep it smooth. Put it around here. Close your knife so you don't hurt yourself. And now you're ready for bolts. Okay, you're going to need some kind of sharp object. You can even use bolts that sometimes you poke from this part of the board down, poke your holes and see where you got to go with them. So once your holes are all open, it'll make it easier to put your bolts in. Place your bolts in the holes. Well, now that your bolts are in place, you're going to have to put on your trucks. You're going to make sure that your pivot is always towards the inside of the board. Because if you go like this and you have your pivots out, you're going to be riding pretty squirrely. So let's put this on right here. Just place it in over the bolts. Tighten up your nuts a little bit just to get them ready. It's usually easier to have your board on the side if you're going to be tightening up your bolts. Use wrenches such as these. Make sure not to countersink your bolts too far. Sometimes it leads to broken board. So, making sure that you try to get your bolt flush, but not too deep. This is the bearing. It goes into the wheel. Usually you have a tool such as this. Fits right over the bearing. Put apply pressure down. Now it's inside the wheel. Take your wheel, set it on your truck, making sure that it spins because sometimes bearings go in crooked. This one looks fine. Put your bolt back on. The right side there. Tighten it up. Making sure not to tighten too hard because then with too much pressure, your wheel doesn't spin. But if you leave a little bit of space in between, you should be all right, allowing the wheel to spin. Okay, wheels are on, trucks are on, boards there, ripped. Everything's ready to go. But one thing before you take off out into the street, check your trucks. Get a good adjustment on how you like them, loose or tight. You can always tighten them down or loosen them up. But once you're done with that, you're ready to go out and skate. Go for it. Have a good time. First, we're going to talk about the stance on the skateboard, which is the way you stand, basically. There's a uh, regular foot, which is this stance, or groovy foot, which is that stance, which is uh, it's your uh, left foot forward is regular, and right foot forward is goofy. And whatever comes natural is fine. Um, nowadays, everybody's skating both ways, it's, you know, like ambidextrous skating, switch stance it's called, or you know whatever you want to call it. But uh, that's the first thing. 
and then you just kind of find your center of gravity over the board what feels natural what feels most comfortable like some people have wide stances some people have small stances and it really just depends so that's the first start okay pushing regular footers usually push with their back foot which is their right foot um, groovy footers usually push with the back foot which is the same which is their left foot uh, there's a stance there's a push called mongo foot or back pedaler I don't know whatever you want to call it it's uh, when you push it with your front foot uh, your forward foot or your leading foot and that's uh, it kind of it's, it's a weird thing um, I guess you could have more control over your board with the tail sometimes but it's it's a very awkward stance and and people say it doesn't look good or whatever but if it feels right then that's the way you do it but usually just try to push with your back foot forward I think uh, it'll be better like this if you skateboard you're gonna fall what we're going to show you here is a way to absorb all the impact through the whole part of your body. By maintaining a loose and flexible frame, you can absorb the impact of any type. Your wrist, your elbow, and your shoulder are the groundwork for the rollover, what we're going to call the tuck and roll. It's basically an old jujitsu move, but we're taking it to the street. I'll show you. All the impact, standing up, just like Kung Fu. Okay, and what I'm going to show you now, today, it's really windy, <laughs> uh, is uh, going down the hill and uh, how, how to stop. There's a couple ways. There's one way where you drag your foot, it's like called brake footing, and there's another way where you do slides, either front side or back side, and that, that's kind of a natural progression after you, you, know, you learn to just kind of cruise hills. So let's, let's try it out. Ready? how you stop with your foot and this time when I go down the hill I'm gonna do some slides um, this is what you'll learn a little while after you keep cruising hills it's kind of like I said a natural progression uh, front side and there's back side back side are more difficult as you'll see when I try one I'll probably fall on my head um, so give it a shot man. this is front side this is back side That's the way to slow yourself down so when oncoming traffic comes, you don't get smashed. For all you kids out there, the most important trick is the ollie. To do the ollie, you want to place your back foot on the end of the board and find a nice comfortable position for your front foot. And when you hit your tail, slide your front foot forward and stay centered over your board. And that's an ollie. First, learn how to ollie up a curb. That's the most basic thing of skateboarding you need to learn is to do an ollie up a curb. In ollieing uh, high things, it's probably best to scoot your front foot back a little bit more so like you're standing. So your feet will be kind of like a little bit together more, just so that it'll be uh, more easier to catch with your grip tape. And then even evening it out when you uh, get over the obstacle and then land. Um, after a while, after practicing doing that, if you want to go big and start going far and, and doing big gaps and whatnot, then you probably have to pr place your front foot up a little bit more so that um, you can even it out better at a higher speed. And that's about it for all of it. Then after that, you just, you know, you do 180s, front side or back side, fakey ollies, um, but in order to learn all that stuff, you have to learn the first, you know, the ollie first. It's the basic, first basic trick. Another way to ollie is an ollie. Placing front foot forward, back foot in the middle of the board. Keeping the feet at such position. You're going to approach your obstacle, pushing front foot forward, applying pressure to the nose. Once pressure is applied to the nose, lift back foot then front foot right after in order to get a, a flat position in the air. 
Then keep your feet on, and you're right away. Just like that. You'd probably want to um, uh, set up for your ollie and um, probably move your move your toes a little bit on the out the outside of the board. Like instead of ollieing right like that, you probably want to move your toe a little bit like that. So um, when you ollie, kick your foot out to the side, thus producing a flip. After the board's flipped all the way around, land it right away. Smile. Another flip trick variation is called a heel flip. Basically all you're going to do is place your feet, ollie position, toe hanging off the board a little bit. You're going to hit your tail, slide it off the nose on the heel edge, and you're going to catch your board in the air, land and roll away. After you've learned the ollie and the kick flip, another fun trick to learn is the pop shove it. You can do it two ways, you can do it front side or back side. I suggest trying both because they're both really fun. Um, the backside pop shove it is kind of it's a scooping motion with your feet that you do. The front foot's going to guide the board, where the back foot's going to scoop the board sideways to get the pop shove it going. It's kind of like this. And so you can learn it stationary, you can do it rolling. Um, try it both ways. The front, front side one's similar, but you're just going to throw your foot, the back foot, the opposite way, and it's it goes kind of like this. So those are the pop shove it. So learn it and have fun. Hello, boys and girls. Today we're doing rail slides. What you'd like to do is approach your obstacle at moderate speed. Put your front foot a little bit behind the front bolt. Once you reach your obstacle, ollie, turn 90 degrees, land on your obstacle, rail slide as far as you can. Once you reach the end, turn 90 degrees off, roll away and have fun. How's it going? Name of the trick is front side ollie tail slides. You cruise up to a ledge, like say this ledge here. You pop your tail so it goes 90 degrees. And when you hit the curb, put most of all your weight on the back. And then when you slide in as much as you want, just pop up and ride away all four wheels. And you should be good to go. Later. All right, no slide. You approach the curb at a parallel angle, ollie up. Place your nose in, slide, make sure you're over top, and then push out, and out of the way. That's a nose slide. All right, kids, what we're going to do here is pump the tranny so you can go faster. Just try to push over to the tranny, then start pumping on the metal. It's kind of like, like swinging on a swing. Just bend your knees, and then straighten up again, and then you just bend them down right where the, the metal is, right here. The harder you do it, the faster you go up the ramp. All you kids want to learn how to skate a ramp, and then teaching you how to drop in on a six foot mini ramp. Um, all you have to do is put your back truck over the coping. You put, you put all your weight forward so you don't fall back and hurt your back or something. So, have your feet like this, right next to the two screws. Just lean right. Like that. Hi, my name's Matt Shaw, and today I'm going to bring you the vertical drop in. This is a vert ramp, 10 and a half feet tall. Don't be scared. As you can see, moving over to the lip, it's not all that scary. Here's my board, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna ride the board down the ramp, if you can believe that. Okay, so we're ready. You got the board on top of the ramp. This is the deck. Okay, we're gonna scoot the wheels off the deck and over the coping. The bolts or the wheels are not on top of the coping at all. Only the tail is on the coping. Straighten out your board so that when we drop, we're going straight, not crooked into Mark Gonzalez's piece. <laughs> okay, so my foot's on, the board's straight. The next part's the tricky part. We're gonna put the front foot on the board, right over the front bolt, and press down hard. Don't lean back or else 
Wilson, ooch. Okay, here we go. Putting the front foot on, and I'm gonna press hard and ride with the ram. Are you ready? Ah, hey. The best, yeah, the best one. Wow. You're a pretty good knee slider there. What we're talking about is the vertical knee slide. So important in vertical skating, or any ramp skating. It allows you to learn tricks because in the trick, you know you're not going to make it. Boom, to the knees, slide down, no pain. Most of all, it makes you get, helps you out of those hairy situations right there. Ooh, added bonus. Let's get to one. See, these are knee pads. I wear a little padding under them. And it doesn't hurt. If you land right at the vert, that momentum comes down, you slide right down, no pain. Also, one added thing, when you're in the air, if you're trying to learn to knee slide, you might want to put your foot down real quick just to kind of break the fall. So it's like, you know what I mean? That's the vertical knee slide, and take it from me. It's a real helper. Okay, so to get used to knee sliding, you might want to just try running up the ramp and then jumping onto your knees. I know I used to practice it a lot, just because you never know how you're gonna fall, even run backwards. But here's uh, what I was talking about with that running up, putting your foot down, and jumping to your knees. Foot down, knee slide. Okay, also you might want to try backwards in case you're trying something backwards, knee slide. It's real basic, but it definitely helps to just try it a few times, get used to the knee sliding, going onto the knees, and just get used to it, you know? It's as easy as that. <laughs> well, there you have it. Those are just the basics. There's a lot more for you to learn. Remember, skateboarding takes practice and dedication. Where you take it from there, it's all up to you.